Good morning, everyone. Paul Kennedy here. I hope you're having a great holiday season. Slight change of pace in this episode as Paul Kennedy will share some historic knowledge in regard to the worship of cats in ancient Egypt. Now, I love all animals with cats leading the way, which gives me something in common with the ancient Egyptians. Now, there were multiple reasons that led to this worship reflected in both society and mythology. So let's start with how cats helped safeguard Egyptian civilization, and that was by killing the rats and mice who spread disease, preventing the types of plagues hitting the villages that could have wiped out the entire culture. Cats also protected the crops on the banks of the Nile from rodents, snakes, and assisted in the hunting of birds. Cats were not only protecting the borders and crops, they also became companions and in-house security. Owners were protected while sleeping, thanks to the cats fending off invading predators that threatened not only humans, but also their food supply. Having this luxury led to personal freedom and an outlet to build society. Cats also played a prominent role in ancient Egyptian mythology. Ancient Egyptians believed that cats had a direct connection with Ra and the creator, Atem, due to the cat's love of sunbathing and the way their eyes glow in the dark. This led to many deities being presented in the form of cats, the most popular ones being Bastet, Mafdet, Mahez, Tutu, and Sekhmet. Despite presenting their own danger, the jaguar and leopard was the only animal who could injure or kill the two most threatening adversaries on the banks of the Nile, the crocodile and hippo. This inspired the most terrifying of the deities, known as Amun, a female with the head of a crocodile, body of a leopard, and legs of a hippo. After death, one's heart is weighed against the feather. If the feather floats, then you are pure and move on, and if the feather drops, then you have a heart of stone, and it's fed to Amun, resulting in the individual's permanent death. For these reasons, cats were rightfully worshipped and protected by law. The penalty for killing a cat is death, and there's a well-documented case of a Roman soldier getting beaten to death after committing such a disgraceful act. In the event of a fire, men held hands and formed a circle around homes to prevent any cats from entering. A large number of cats were mummified, and it was also common for owners to shave their heads and eyebrows in order to show they were in mourning. The Aztecs and Mayans, along with the Incas, shared a similar belief with the jaguar. The nobleman and ruler had them as pets and wore jaguar skins and robes to symbolize power. The Aztec Jaguar warriors went into battle wearing imitation Jaguar skins. The Aztecs devoted their most desired color, Aztec teal, to the Jaguar, and like the cats in ancient Egypt, Jaguars were the only animal allowed in the palace. Well, that concludes the lesson of the day. Paul Kennedy, thanks for watching.